Welcome back to Bangalore School of Banking. This is Sachidanand Rath again. In this discussion, I'm going with one of the most important sections of the present day's banking exams, the quadratic equations. A typical quadratic equation question looks like this. We given two equations. We need to get the values of x and y. Here it is minus two and minus three. Here it will come minus three and minus four. We need to compare each value of x with each value of y. So we are having four comparisons and thereby we will give the answer as 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Let's see if we can solve this question without practically getting these values. Let's see the middle terms. This is 5, this is 7. 5 is increasing to 7. If the middle number increases that is if this is an increasing series the answer will be x is greater than or equal to y or x is greater than y can't be x is less than or equal to y can't be x is less than y can be this this or it can go to no relationship can be established let's subtract this and this as the first step 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 in the second step let's subtract this and this 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 in the third step let's divide this by this 6 by 2 is equal to 3. In the fourth step, let's see if this 3 is able to divide this and this. We don't need to get these values. When this number is able to divide both of these numbers, the answer will be this. That is, it can't be this. The answer will be this or can be this. Had it been 8 and this 12, 8 is not getting divided by 3. That is, some decimal is coming, whereas this is getting divided. If even 1 is not getting divided by this quantity, then the answer will not go to this, will go to this or this. Here, as both 6 and 12 are getting divided by this 3, so the answer will not go to this, will go to this. We are left with option 1 and option 5 to check if the answer goes to no relationship can be established. Let's add these two numbers. 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. Let's multiply these two figures and divide by 2. This is 35 by 2, that is 17.5. Let's take this as P and this as Q. If P is less than Q, the answer will go to no relationship can be established. If P is greater than Q, it may or may not go to no relationship can be established, but the chances of going to no relationship can be established are very very rare, around 5%, which is never seen in any banking exam.
here we have P 18 Q 17.5 that is P is greater than Q so the chances of going to option 5 are ignored the answer goes to option 1 let's see another question of the same paper x squared plus 20 is equal to 9x and y squared plus 42 is equal to 13y bringing this 9x this side and 13y this side the equations become x squared minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0 y squared minus 13y plus 42 is equal to 0 this is minus 9 this is minus 13 had it been 9 and 13 it would have been on increasing series that is 13 is greater than 9 but as we have minus 13 and minus 9 minus 13 is less than minus 9 that way it becomes a decreasing series in a decreasing series the answer can't be x is greater than or equal to y can't be x is greater than y it can be this this or this now let's subtract this and this so minus 13 minus of minus 9 that is minus 13 plus 9 which is minus 4 any form of negative signs while following the steps are ignored so this is 4 in the second step let's subtract this and this so 42 minus 20 that is 22 in the third step let's divide this by this 22 by 4 this is not exactly divisible and if this is not getting divisible we don't have to go to the fourth step the answer can't be x is less than or equal to y can be x is less than y or no relationship can be established we are left with option 4 and option 5 let's add these two numbers 42 plus 20 is equal to 62 let's multiply these two quantities and divide by 2 this is 117 by 2 that is 58.5 this is P this is Q as P is greater than Q option 5 is ignored the answer is X is less than Y let's go through another question x squared minus 20x plus 91 is equal to 0 y squared minus 32y plus 247 is equal to 0 this is a complex question as this 247 is the product of two prime numbers that is 19 and 13 this is minus 20 and this is minus 32 had it been 32 and 20 this would have been an increasing series but as it is minus 20 and minus 32 it's a decreasing series in a decreasing series the answer can't be x is greater than y or x is greater than or equal to y now let's get minus 32 minus of minus 20 that is minus 32 plus 20 which is minus 12 ignoring this negative sign this is 12 in the second step 247 minus 91 that is 156 
in the third step 156 divided by 12 is 13 in the fourth step this 13 is dividing this this is dividing this so the answer can't be this the answer is either x is less than or equal to y or it can be can't be determined let's add these two quantities 247 plus 91 that is 338 this is b half of minus 20 into minus 32 is 320 this is q as p is greater than q option 5 is ignored answer is option 4 let's go through another question x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to 0 and y squared minus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0 it's better to check for option 5 as out of five questions one question goes to can't be determined this plus this that is 6 minus 12 is equal to minus 6 while bothering can't be determined cases these negative signs are not ignored this is minus 5 this is 1 half of 1 into minus 5 is equal to minus 5 by 2 that is minus 2.5 6 is greater than 2.5 so minus 6 is less than minus 2.5 this is p this is q as p is less than q the answer has to go to can't be determined now let's go through our special case where the signs of both the last terms are negative if the signs of both the last terms are negative the answer will go to can't be determined this happens as if the last term is negative one value of x will be positive and one negative same is the case for y one is positive and one is negative this plus is greater than this minus this minus is less than this plus while comparing each value of x with each value of y if we are getting both greater than and less than signs the answer will go to can't be determined if all are greater than signs the answer will go to x is greater than y if all are less than signs the answer will go to x is less than y if it's a mixture of greater than and equal to signs the answer will go to x is greater than or equal to y this is read as x is greater than or equal to y Reading this as x is greater than equal to y is mathematically wrong. Should be read as x is greater than or equal to y. If it's a mixture of less than and equal to signs, the answer will go to x is less than or equal to y. That way, if we have two equations, x squared is equal to 4 and y squared is equal to 4, x is equal to plus or minus 2 again it is read as plus or minus 2 not plus minus 2 y is equal to plus or minus 2 so we have x is equal to plus 2 or minus 2 y is equal to plus 2 or minus 2 this plus 2 is greater than this minus 2 this minus 2 is less than this plus 2 so the answer will go to can't be 
determined even though it looks that both the values are equal and it should go to x is equal to y. For higher applications, when the x squared and y squared coefficients are not 1, they may be 2 or 3. And for all special cases, please order DVD. You can also watch the complete video. Please log in to www.bankpodvds.com or mail to sachinroth123 at gmail.com for details. For complete discussions, please order DVD. OptiPack is issued at Rs. 3000, Combo Pack at Rs. 3500. It took more than 5 years to convert the 10 DVDs issued in 2010 to 5 DVDs, then to 3 DVDs, and finally into a single DVD in April 2016. The data in the single DVD is updated and is more than the data that in the 10 DVDs issued earlier. Pen drives and memory cards for mobile phones are launched in November 2016. Please log into the site for details. If you want to know more details about the project, please watch any of the previous videos uploaded in the channel. YouTube channel name is Sachinrat123. Project is dedicated to the greatest physicist of all times, late Julius Sumner Miller. Always grateful to Mr. Sergi Brin, Profounder Google, for making education easily accessible through YouTube. Thanks for watching.